Hello, in this video I'll show you how to make slow cooker brisket. I start off by preparing the rub for the meat. To do this, I add one tablespoon of packed brown sugar, two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of cumin, three quarters teaspoon of mustard powder, one teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper. Then I mix all of these dry ingredients together and then rub it onto the meat. I pour half of the spice mixture onto the top side of meat and rub that in and then flip the meat over and pour the other half onto the back. Once that's rubbed in, I pick up the piece of meat and any of the spice mixture that's fallen onto the cutting board, I dab the meat into to make sure that I have a little bit of coating along the edges of the meat as well. I'm using a four pound cut of chuck roast for this recipe. Chuck roast is normally a low cost option for a cut of meat because it's a really tough cut of meat. So cooking the chuck roast in a slow cooker is a really great way to make the meat nice and tender. Cooking this on low heat for a long time helps break down the muscle fibers that make meat tough. Additionally, the chuck roast normally has a bit of marbling in the meat, which is just fat distributed throughout the cut and this fat helps the meat stay moist while you're cooking it, which results in the, your meat not drying out. This is why I prefer using chuck roast for brisket, aside from a bottom round roast or other types of meat that are a little bit leaner. However, if you can't find a chuck roast, a bottom round roast is a suitable option. I turn my slow cooker on to low heat and set it for eight hours. Then I place the meat with the dry rub applied into the slow cooker and start making the sauce. For the sauce that the chuck roast cooks in, I add half a cup of apple cider vinegar, half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of barbecue sauce, half a cup of packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of mustard powder, one teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of celery salt, and one and a half tablespoons of diced garlic. This is equal to about five cloves of garlic. I start to stir the sauce together before I add in the garlic to make sure that I have any clumps of spices broken up. Sometimes the mustard powder when it's clumped together will look like garlic and I wanna make sure that I have a smooth sauce before adding in the garlic. So once the sauce starts to smooth out, then I'll add in some garlic. Once the garlic's in, I stir everything together again to make sure that the garlic is evenly distributed in the sauce. Then I pour the sauce over the top of the meat in the slow cooker. Then I place the lid on the slow cooker and let it cook. After the meat has cooked on low for eight hours, I take it out of the crock pot and place it on a rack on top of a baking pan and cook this in the oven. The point of cooking this in the oven now is just to create some of those burnt tips and to have the barbecue sauce that we created caramelize on the edges, which really brings out another depth of flavor for the meat. So I put this in the oven at 425 degrees for eight minutes. I'll mention here that if you don't have a full eight hours to cook this, you can cook on high. You can do one hour on high for every two hours on low. However, the more time that you're able to cook the meat on low heat, the more tender your meat will be. You also don't have to cook this meat in the oven to get some burnt tips or caramelization. You can serve this directly from the slow cooker. I like the additional flavor that cooking this in the oven provides, but I've definitely served this straight from the crock pot before too. While the meat's in the oven, I scoop out about a cup and a half to two cups of the liquid and put that into a sauce pot. I hold back about a half cup of the liquid from the pan, and then I add in two teaspoons of cornstarch to create a cornstarch slurry. Whisk this together well, and then add this back into the sauce pot. I cook this over medium heat until it starts to thicken. We'll use this sauce to baste onto the meat to help with caramelization. It's really important to create a cornstarch slurry here in a separate container rather than putting the cornstarch straight into your sauce pot because your cornstarch won't fully incorporate into your sauce. It will just clump together and it won't thicken the sauce right. 
Here I've taken the meat out of the oven after it's been cooking for eight minutes. And you can see how it started to caramelize the, some of the sauce that was on the meat. So now I'm going to take the thickened sauce and just baste the top of the meat with that. Then I'm going to put this back into the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for an additional 8 to 10 minutes until the sauce starts to caramelize. Now the meat is fully done cooking in the oven and I let it rest just for a few minutes to make sure that any of the moisture in the meat doesn't leak out. And then I slice the meat up and serve it for dinner. Here you can see just how tender this meat is. It really shows that the slow cooker is a great way to make a chuck roast and to keep the meat nice and tender. I barely have to use any effort to cut through this meat because the knife is just gliding right through. I also take the sauce that's left over in the slow cooker and use this as a form of gravy to pour over the meat while we're eating. Thanks for watching this video on how to make a slow cooker brisket. Let me know how it worked out for you in the comments below, and as always, like and subscribe to see more content.